Yeah, do we want that drum roll? Not quite sure, but we'll tell you what we're thinking as far as this uh, winter season goes. We'll start off with the ocean, sea surface temperatures, and the departure from average. This is something we look at to sort of guide us in the right direction as to where winter may be headed. And the equatorial Pacific, right here, we look at the departure from average temp uh, temperature wise, and we're looking at a warmer than average setup which is an El Nino setup. So we're thinking we're heading into an El Nino year. Now, in addition to that, just south of Alaska, there's another sort of blob of warm water there, and that will impact the weather pattern there. We'll get ridging and then troughing down into the eastern United States. Now, exactly where that set up, what does El Nino mean for us? Well, there are a few other factors we look into, but we'll sort of break the El Nino down. Generally speaking, in a typical El Nino winter, the northern half of the United States or the northern uh, plain states here will be warm and the Ohio Valley will tend to be dry. Now, cool and wet across the southern United States. So what about the Great Lakes states here? We're kind of left in a no man's land and we have to look at other teleconnections that kind of go out a shorter amount of time. So El Nino is almost the marathon. And then you look at these other teleconnections to break it down even further. What are we thinking here? We're thinking we're going to have a slow start to winter. November, December, the uh, jet stream might be just off to the north. So we'll get plenty of precipitation, a stormy pattern, but could most of it be in the form of rain. Then we head into late December, January, February. This is where we think winter will really dig its heels in. Could we get some decent coastal storms mixed in with that cold air? So we think the cold air will really work in during the heart of winter. November, December, we're thinking we'll be dealing with some of these milder shots. Winter will set up later on into December with the cold really focused on January and February and could could March ease up a little bit on us this year. Now, precipitation-wise, a wet but mild start, which we think means little snow, at least to start. Once that cold air works in, we get some of these bigger January, February storms. So we're thinking the heart of winter could be very winter-like. Overall snowfall forecast for the team, little above average. We're going 100 to 115 inches. Like it or not, that's our winter forecast.